just press the balloon a little bit like this, put it there, and open the water, and let it blow up. Choose the enough size, and then take it out. My name is Sheila and today I'm going to show you how to do a dinosaur egg exploration. So let me show you the materials. First, we're going to need small dinosaurs. So little ones and we will need balloons. Why? Because we're going to put the tiny dinosaurs inside the balloon to make a dino egg. And also, we're going to need a cup of water, medicine droppers, the plastic ones. We're going to need a small plate to put the dino eggs. And we have a bigger bin, just in case. This is actually for um, individual activity. But if you're going to do a group one, this one is much better because the water is going to be inside and it's going to be there and it will um, melt the ice more easily now alternative if we don't have this one you can probably use a ladle or if you have measuring cups also use this one so this activity is good for finger exercise so exercise your fingers because when you use the medicine droppers you squeeze it especially for small kids like those learning to um, hold a pencil or a crayons, it's a, a finger exercise. So it's the, you squeeze it to take the water, then after, you squeeze it again to take out the water. So it exercises the fingers to strengthen it. And this one is gonna help for dexterity later on when they start to um, learn how to write. So this is a good, fine motor skills activity so this activity requires time why because we need to freeze the eggs so to do it let me just show you how first the technique to put the small dinosaurs inside the balloon one technique is to stretch out the balloons first like this And then blow it a little bit just to stretch it out okay then release the air now stretch it out like this can probably come closer to see if you want okay so we stretch it out with the head of the dino and let it all in I mean this one requires like exercise for your fingers too because you have to be really 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 have to break it out and be careful not to destroy the balloon Okay, this is the balloon with the water inside that we just did and you pop it in the freezer for at least um, overnight to, to freeze the water and then the next day you're ready for your dino exploration so when you take it out from the freezer it's gonna look like this one like this and this okay so to prepare the class you can either do it individually, as I said, an individual activity for the kids. So, let's say you want it individual. We just, and just cut it. There you go. And, oh, look. Look who's there. Okay, I think you need to 
but it's more. There. Look who's there. Our dino friend. He needs to be rescued. He needs some help. So, we put it there for individual activities. And we tell the kids that our dino friend needs to be helped. He needs help. He's stuck in the ice. So, what we, what we can do is use the medicine dropper. Again, squeeze to get the water. And then do it repeatedly. And I'm sure they're going to enjoy this one. Telling them stories while they're doing it. You see? Until the ice melts and they are able to get the dino. This one takes time for individual activities, but the kids are going to enjoy this. And if you want to make it faster or you want it to make like, let's say you have a group, you can give them the, medicine, uh, the, the ladle or the measuring cup because this one you can get more water. Here, it's our dino friend that needs to be rescued. You can put water in the measuring cup because you have more water and they could sprinkle it on the eyes little by little. You see? Here. If you can see it, with much water, you can actually see the dinosaur coming out. Or you can also use this one. You give them water here. And we'll just put water on it. Another one. And you can actually help them take out the dinosaur if it's like stuck a bit and it needs some pulling or anything. And if you ran out of water because you still have water here, you can actually just help them scoop it up. And more water. And do you know that the other benefits for this kind of activity is the eye and hand coordination. They take out this one, they get water, and they put it on the dino egg. Another thing, this is also a sensory activity because they can feel cold. You can let them, or you can introduce to them the concept of warm and cold. At the same time, about solid and liquid. So all in all, this activity has so many prob uh, possibilities for an activity to teach the kids on what they can learn about just one simple activity like this dino egg exploration. Do you want to know how the kids enjoyed on this activity? Let's watch the next video. What happened? My it's almost out? Yes. yes. What about you, Isabel? No. Oh, no, the head is out? Yes. yes. Okay. What about you, Shreyas? What happened to your dinosaur? My dinosaur is stuck. Is it stuck? He needs help. He needs help. Yeah, exactly. It's stuck. I don't know if it's a hole. Yeah, put more water so you can help the dinosaur to come out. Alex, what happened to your dinosaur? My mommy. Huh? What, what happened to your dinosaur? Huh? The best one did? Wait, okay, go. Help, help the dinosaur. Put more water. What happened to your dinosaur, Kevin? It's stuck? Help the dinosaur to come out, okay, Kevin? Yeah. It's stuck. Yeah, you have to help the dinosaur, okay? 
Lucas, what happened? Dinosaur is almost out. Yes? Good. Yeah, your dinosaur is almost out. Look, see? I, I, I see a tail. Yeah, you see the tail? Okay, so put more water, okay? I, I, I see the... Okay. Audio Jungle.